In the previous episode, we entered the Wormway, which is going to be basically the final thing we do before we go chase down Orin and I think finish the game. I think we're getting pretty close. You guys can let me know in the comments just how close I am. How old is this place? Music is cool. Also, a little unsettling. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can let me know in the, the comments how close I am. I'm pretty sure I'm fairly close to the end of the game. Uh, based on like when my wife finished the game versus like where we were, uh, you know, in relation to, to each other throughout the end. So it, I think it's, yeah, pretty sure we'll, we'll, we'll get there pretty quickly. What is this? D -d 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 Conquer the Wormways Trials. That's oh, going to be one of those. Going to be one of those. Um, can't get through there until I conquer that one. Bunch of shadow over there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check it out. <laughs> you never really know. Curious to see how this is. Uh, shrouded paintings. Okay. I guess paintings hung on the, wall. the apple, the child, like an art gallery. the judgment, the chase, the theft, and the induction. All right. Let's, let's read the journal. I think that's a good idea. Chamber of justice. It's my chamber. Hadn't expected puzzles. Uh, is the great worm really hidden behind tests of this kind? I'd expect feats of strength, yes, but nothing like this. Like it was designed for sport. Ooh, interesting. Shrouded paintings. So we got to figure out what's in there. Um, the pride of the gate. Does Will not have like magical dark vision? Well that ends. No, Maybe he does. All right, let's look at the of... apple. The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open-air market. Huh. You know this market, the Wide, where Baldur's Gate citizens and visitors gather to conduct trade and wax political. Okay. If not over. A market? That's true. It's cool. The child. A red-haired man is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered giving an apple to a smiling urchin. Okay, is this Several Aladdin? other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. So he stole the apple. Now he's giving it to the children. The induction. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it. Tally marks totaling the number nine. Okay. Uh, that could be all sorts of things. Also, there's a bunch of writing up here. Interesting. Um, I mean, that could be the girl. Because the girl was wearing red in that one. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. The theft. The theft. A red-haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. Arcana failed. Thanks, game. What about Shadowheart? Shadowheart's... Uh, Will. Let's try Will for this. The theft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A red hits an astrolabe of entrapment. It could hold a dozen gin within it. Perhaps even more. Oh. Trying to get wishes for all these kids, maybe? Maybe that's too altruistic. Chase. A red haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. Hmm. A cloaked woman, hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. Interesting. Is that, is that the same girl? And then the judgment. The judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. Been bought off. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. Okay. Well, that's fascinating. What the heck is all this writing on the wall? Is it ready to handle that? All right. Do I ungroup here? Do I ungroup and walk in? I think I do. Let's see what this is. The judge. Okay. Behold, the paintings tell the tale. My judgment is rendered. The thief earns his due. Hmm. The waiting judgment. What do I do for that? Okay, so I insert an item on that one. Here we go. 
shrouded painting. The shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Well, thankfully, uh, we still got daylight here on Shadowheart. So let's go ahead and do a sphere. Did that do it? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it actually just blinded me. Okay. You know what? I thought I was being clever. The judge has spoken. The crime must be punished. Shrouded sentence. The judge is obscuring paintings within 20 feet, preventing judgment being passed on an accused skull or soul. Do I just kill him? Is that possible? Can I judge him? I mean, I can. Oh my goodness, that sounds like a bad idea. We're gonna quick save and then we're gonna look around These one more time before I do that. Everything. That, I mean, it may not work, right? That's a thing. And maybe the daylight was a bad idea. <laughs> let's, let's look at the statue. We haven't done this yet. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Restore the balance of justice. Restore? the balance of justice. Right? Okay. Uh, how do I do that? Can I look at these paintings one more time? Can I take the paintings? I actually didn't even think about that. The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in the open air. Yeah, so that's the wild. Okay. A closer examine can't attack it okay what uh the child was the girl the child a red giving an apple to a smiling urchin his cloak's hood lowered giving an apple several other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple. okay so she's got like this red cloak and then like a brown hood the induction may not be the same girl a red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a duck she wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it tally marks totaling the number nine right maybe nine years old no that can't be it she'd be way smaller the theft a red-haired man is depicted in the hall of okay so he goes and steals that then he's being chased away the chase a red-haired man is depicted running through the and city what is she doing a flame a cloaked woman hair dark as a raven looks on from a safe dis okay she's there and then he's being judged the judge has been paid off and the apple is there seems like something happened with this girl the waiting judgment so I need to take a painting and put it there is that possible? It won't it won't let me grab it, unfortunately. Huh. Can I talk to him one more time and see if he has any thoughts? Cleanse the world of those who would stand in the way of the righteous. But do not let such cleansing prevent justice. Right, but he's the judge, right? So is this like if I cleanse it, quote unquote, uh, by killing him, does that prevent justice? Is that what that means? I just like it's not very clear. I can't like grab these and put them down and I, and it won't let me look at these. Whoops. There we go. The shadows are blocking me. Okay. I need to get rid of them. And the Someone. judge shrouded sentence. Yeah, judge obscuring paintings within 20 feet preventing judgment from being passed on an accused of soul. All right, do I kill him? Here we go, baby. Do I use a smite here? I guess I could. He's only got 24 health. Let's just finish him. Uh, I don't, do I, do I need it to be a crit? It would, no, I don't. Immune to slashing damage. Mm. <laughs> okay. I mean, it wasn't just slashing damage. It was also radiant damage. What about Will? The pride of the gate. You got anything about Two this? steps at a time. Fireball, maybe? It's immune to, to slashing. Is he immune to magical damage? Can I Eldritch Blast him? 
Watch this, oh, watch this one, Jeff. I'm not immune to force damage. Okay, okay. Interesting. Why is he immune to all that damage? Oh, you know what? I guess he has his resistance here. Slashing immunity, piercing immunity, bludgeoning immunity, acid, radiant, force, poison, psychic, cold, thunder, necrotic, fire, and lightning. That's basically everything. Dotable features. Anamorphous. Dark vision. Uh, ethereal. Shadow blend. While well, lightly or heavily obscured, this creature gains the ability to blend in with shadows. Right. And sunlight weakness. While well, in sunlight, this creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. I mean, it is in sunlight, but that's not helping me. <laughs> I thought the thing was, like, in order to make it not shrouded, I needed to Let's hit it with sunlight. Maybe I just need to get a torch. Right? Let's do that. Torch. Do, do, do. I don't have a torch on him. Really? No, I did. Right? Yeah. Okay. Can we can we equip this? Um, do I need to light the tor torch? On my way. It's got like blue fire. Oh wait, why is that? It said it's a cemetery blue torch. All right. Do I just have a normal torch? I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but I may as well just make sure I have a normal torch. Do, uh, she's got one. There we go. All right. Let's put it in her hands. Well, All right, Shadowheart. Well. Or not Shadow Heart, but Carlac. Let's walk Where in here. You? Does that do it? Oh, that is some dark energy. Wonder if I can clear it. How though? Interesting. Oh, I can pick these up. Hello. Oh, no. Won't let me. Energy. Won't let me pick it up. Wonder if I can clear it. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if I have any. Oh, let me put my weapon back on, huh? That would be uh, a good thing to have. Do, do, do. Put hers back on too. Okay. Do I have any pallet and sneaky stuff that can potentially do this? Right? Probably not. Um, what about Shadowheart? Whatever it takes. I was expecting these. Um, I was expecting these uh, puzzles to be a little bit more logical, but they f it feels like it's more like um, like obscure puzzle games where you have to kind of get in the head of whoever designed the puzzle and figure out how they wanted you to do this. And it also doesn't feel like it is aligning with how the rest of the game works, where it's like, yo, um, this is... A, a puzzle that have multiple ways to really do it. Yeah, target's too far. At least and even with my strength, I can't do that, right? To keep going. To do. Yeah, target's too far, so I can't even move the paintings. The shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Yeah, you know, I thought casting freaking daylight on them. Do I have anything else? Lightning resistance, scroll blight. What about sun? No. See, I, I casted sunlight, right? With shadow heart. Oh my goodness, my will you please click on her? Daylight, yeah, I casted daylight, but I casted it there. What if I cast it? No, that's not gonna work. So I can't like cast it on the guy. I can't remove curse. And I don't have anything else. This could be the first time in a while where I just go look up the puzzle because it kind of feels odd. What if I sit here? It's the only other interactable I've got. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't do anything to him. I can't do any damage. What about Will? Can I talk to him with Will? Off with you! His reckoning must come! Death is the price! Uh, okay, yeah. Chamber of Justice. Gonna look at... Okay, so apparently... Remove curse... Is what does this? But is this a curse? Oh, it does say cursed on it. I didn't even read that bottom part. 
That felt a little blah. <laughs> Whatever. Can't give up now. Dishonored, banished was banished. I did not read what I'll he just said. Shot. Let's go. go he, see what he said. The dishonorable judge was banished, but judgment must still be passed. Justice. No pardon without repentance and no penalty without mercy. The right path often lies between the extremes. Hmm. Good to have you around. Thanks for your wise words. I'll keep that in mind. Wise indeed, though I can't take credit. It was my father who taught me the ways of the just. Right, okay, so let's Very see what's well. going on here. The cell. The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten-day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Hmm. I should probably start... Oh, no. So that's that's the cell. This is freedom. Freedom. A red-haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his hood and a golden coin in his hand. Hmm. A thief walks free. Is this truly justice? Don't know. What about the hanging? The hanging. A red-haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. You notice a child in the crowd, a falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. So I don't think letting him go is good. Oh, can we ask Will? This place is astonishing. A bard's legend made real. Uh, you're gonna say, no, okay. Eve. I think the cell might be the best one because he's not going free. He's still serving his thing for being a thief, but he's not being hanged. I think the cell. Can I, can I click on this? Okay, can I pick this up? No, I, oh my goodness. Just a red head, man. Yeah, I know. Can we pick up? It's half expecting that to overburden me. Where did the cell go? There it is. Um, e e e e e e there we go. I'm going to do that one. You banished the dishonorable judge and applied Lex Talionis, the principle of the sentence being proportional to the crime. Yeah. You are a paragon of justice. I know I am. Proceed. Thank you very much. Thank you for for seeing my awesomeness. There's like a bridge there. Oh, that's really interesting. All right, so this is lit up, but oh, we should probably group my dudes, huh? Come on, boys. I I want to walk this. So I bet you I can. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I'm very curious what's back here. Is this a different way in? There's some baddies on the thing there. Okay, well, okay, what one is this? Let's look. Statue of Baldurian. Chamber of Insight. A good leader has the insight to find good counsel. As a war reaches its end, there is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. Okay. Right. So, I gotta find the one that is not doing well. Ooh, read that book. Sleight of hand successful. Did I pick up a book? I did. Uh, Steads, virtues, blah, blah, blah. All right, read. The Virtues of Unions by Alwyn Stead. It's quite obvious that larger kingdoms offer benefits to all people within, or all peoples within. As a kingdom grows, so does its fields, its populace, and its economy. A few charred corpses is a worthy sacrifice. If a dragon offers to share its hoard, after all, so too should you seek union. However, imperfect. Uh, should a powerful kingdom march its army on your borders? Interesting. So too should you seek union. However, import, import, imperfect should a powerful kingdom march its army on your borders. Some friction is inevitable of course citizens rights might erode for instance but such lesser issues will be sanded down by the march of time such is the price of peace all instead huh 
Okay. That's another book. Get the book. Seems like get a the book, damn it. To talk. Go get the book, baby. Uh, hold still, will you? Get it. Get it. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you, Shadowheart. Quite a fine. No, get leave. Go. <laughs> book, book, book. Uh, come on. Hold still, will you? Oh, come on. All right, it walks right past me, right here. Did I get it? Uh, hold still, will you? Uh, Why is that not working? Hold still, will you? Let me try Shadowheart. There we go. She did it. Uh, da, 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 the Ethics of War by Christina Suleto. My colleague Am Amaps uh, proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies then once we have fallen or once they have fallen to our might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when suffer or surrender is offered? I don't know why I said suffer. Indeed not, for what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them once again along our borders? Uh, we shall wage another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. Once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be razed to the ground. Only then can we be free of its specter. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. Nothing hurts anymore. <laughs> Nothing hurts anymore, he says. <laughs> so my guy just like, he's just done. He's ready for the end of the game. Five-year war. Break. Let's read the five-year war. By Torin Basi. Bossy? Uh, the war was, in truth, nothing short of a tragedy. It began as a mild altercation between the sanguine sons of Alio and Vita families regarding, if you can believe it, the proper ownership of a sheep farm. Over the course of three seasons, full-blown conflict had erupted between Baldur's Gate and Victon, a pointless war leaving both cities with nothing but a thousand useful corpses to show for it. Okay, so we're getting history on the five-year war. And on one side, it seems like we've got someone being like, yo, we need to wipe these people out afterwards. Now, the other side, it's like, yo, we should reduce citizens rights in order to um, in order to protect the city, basically. Okay. You won't get it. What about Will? Still, will you? Slippery little blighter. Yeah, it is a slippery blighter. Slippery little blighter. And now he's not getting it. Carlac? Carlac, come on, baby. Come on. Uh, come on. I won't hurt you on purpose. This would be good to have a Starian, huh? Blasted little thing slipped my grass. Can I like is it? still will you? Um, talk. I wonder if I could cast a spell on you. Before I do that though. This text roots its subject on Baldurian, a sailor of exquisite renown who founded the city of Baldur's Gate many years ago. The prose is colorful, but a little too self-satisfied self -satisfied around the edges, and the novel will be unremarkable, but for one small entry about halfway through. Baldurian claimed a guardian and friend, Answer, Answer, uh, Bright, were Answer's scales and brighter still his breath. Yet after a betrayal too piercing to recount here in worthy detail, Answer fled beneath the stone, thereby changing the name of the region he now slumbers under to march or to match his draconic lineage. Okay, what do I do? Hold person, maybe? It's not a person though. Um Can I? I don't know. Slow. Scroll of slow. I cast this. On the book. Come on, baby. Oh, I gotta, I gotta target more than one thing. It won't let me target more than one thing. Can't be an ally. Why is it? Why does it have to be more than one thing? Just target the one thing. Damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Old person? Not a person. Okay. Um. I don't know. What is what does Will have? Can Will just shoot the book out of the air? Or actually, maybe Shadow Art can with a uh, Sacred Flame. Incredible. 
I burned the book. Well, we burned the book. <laughs> I think it's kind of ridiculous that you can't just have everybody try to grab it. It, it wouldn't let you. Um, what was it called? It was called the memoirs. I'm going to look up the stupid memoirs. Okay, without reading it out loud, it's basically uh, passing laws against discrimination. Um, or, or like, like work conditions. Or, Light on my feet. Yeah, so let's go back up and because talk to the statue and figure out what we need to do here. Because I thought, I thought we were trying to choose the good one. Strike down the advice oh, okay. that lead the city to ruin. Right, right. Okay, so which one? Uh, this is the one that we just read. So he seems fine. So it kind of comes down to these two. What was what was the one that we just read? The, uh, no, not Stead's. What, what, oh, it was um, in Shadowheart's inventory? Read. Yeah, this is about like like striking down an entire, I think, I think we kill this one. I think we no kill this one. Because that one's about like killing a whole other nation. The other one is just, you know, not that bad in comparison. The executioner. The tree of peace bore lasting fruit. Cool. Proceed. I kind of had a feeling that was going to be the case. I felt like it was pretty obvious after reading the last book. Um, and all I did was look up the the actual text of the book, so. That was a that was a fairly easy puzzle, to find a way though. Forward. Maybe there's a different way to get them out of the air, other than <laughs> trying to kill it. <laughs> May oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Maybe you could like, because it's just moving around constantly. I wonder if you go into turn-based mode, if it's not moving around, you can grab it. I hadn't considered that until just now. Um, that's probably what you're meant to do. But I thought it was funny to burn the book and then just go read it online. <laughs> Uh, we got two more. We got two Let's more to do. See. I'm having fun here. This is this is interesting. It's different, right? Okay, we got a crystal here. Oh, we got um some chess. Cool. Let's do chess. Is this Lance Port. Crystal skin. Crystal skin. Picked an entity has resistance to all elemental damage. Interesting. All right, let's re listen to him, Ren. Prove your strategic wits. There is but one rule. The Dark King must fall in two moves. Are you a commander of armies? Or a shivering pawn? Fodder for cleverer minds. I'm afraid I have little experience with Lanceport, let alone the command of soldiers. Okay. Um, we're definitely saving. What are those? Hearts or something on the, the ground. So what did I say? The the king, the black king, needs to die in two moves. All right, let's assume this is chess. And if if we if we move with the bishop, oh, this is interesting. So if we move with the bishop here, which I don't think we can, let's assume we can. Oh, there's only one that I can actually interact. Oh no, there's a couple that I can interact with. Um. Anyways, let's assume we can go there. Boom. Kills that one off. The the king would be in check, and oh, but the queen's there too. So the queen would move and do that. So and then our second move, we wouldn't be able to do anything. So how the hell are you supposed to do that in two moves? The only way I can think of would be to go here. Where would they move? The queen would kill the bishop. All right, let's... I have this saved. Let's click on the black queen piece and see what it says. Can't use this right now. Pawn, blah, 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 blah. What can we use? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is straight up chess. I'm not too bad with chess, but... It said the Black King needs to die, right? Let's just double check that. The Dark King must fall in two moves. Yeah, in two moves. Goodness. Um, this one can't do anything but go there. 
This one can't go anywhere. This one, same thing, can't go except anywhere but this black space. This one, same thing. Hmm. In two moves, though. Goodness. I mean, the queen going here would put him in check. He would need to move. Oh, okay, that's it. I figured it out. Queen moves here. The black king has to move here. Then the queen moves here. Because nothing can take out the queen. The queen now wins. Black king has fallen. May you always crush the wicked, be they pawn, knight, or monarch. Proceed. For anyone who doesn't understand chess, this queen can't take out our queen. Nothing because because our bishop is in the way. So that's they they bait you into the bishop being like, oh, you move the bishop there, and then it goes check. But then you're like, oh, well, the queen would move in and kill it. So you just kind of have to consider the fact that your queen would go bloop and then bloop. Easy peasy, and obviously you have three fails. So, man, that was the easiest of them all. I guess it helps knowing chess. What is this one? Is this uh, no save? Vedor and Umglir are gone. Our cubris is evident. Elementals took us by surprise. There are still three of us for now. Interesting. So I wonder if you fail a um a move, you do it wrong. If then elementals come out. That one was cool. I like that one. I was kind of hoping it would be less than two moves or more than two moves rather like it's like uh yeah but the, oh man the moment you set up more than two moves then it turns into you're just playing chess it would be kind of nice though if it was like yeah let's play wizard chess uh, but that would have been kind of cool but i get it it's maybe a bit too complicated can i get over there i can okay we have a blue torch here like we had earlier a champion burns bright even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your courage. Okay, take the torch. All right, to be fair, there were very clearly better options <laughs> to give the torch oh okay water elemental air elemental air elemental water elemental tuned crystal what did the crystal give us before something else sacred flame da, da, da. cannot become invisible enemies are more likely to target this character during the trial cool actually you know what that's fine um let's get in there baby which one goes first that one over there well, I think it's a perfect opportunity to get Carlac to not get there, apparently. Maybe I'll just pop off. I mean, she can't reach any of these, right? With a, um, just a normal attack. No, I don't want a ranged attack. Melee attack. Can't get there, can't get there, can't get there. I've already used up... Oh, no, she has a rush attack. Hmm. I mean, she should be able to rush attack, right? She goes here. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then attack. Cool, that one's tied up. Gonna try to get to us, I'm sure. Oh. It's an air elemental. We could just move. Charm it, baby. I don't think it had a second attack, but it's probably better to... Yeah, that's fine. It probably had a second attack then. Snarl. <laughs> Take that, nerd. Let's see if it does have multiple attacks. Uh, ooh, absorb elements. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from the next elemental attack targeting you and deal an additional one to six element of that type on your next attack. Yep. Cool. He has the torch, yeah? It's kind of not useful. <laughs> Um, are we gonna Eldritch Blast here? Probably, cause that's what, that's what we do, baby. That's what we do. We only have four turns. Um, I can Eldritch Blast multiple things? Really? That's kinda nice. Or three projectiles. We'll do all three into this area. 
Oh, I forgot that he has the throw on it. Oh, that is so good. I forgot about that. We haven't played Will in so long. That's That was why I gave him that, is because that push is insane. Could you imagine all of the fights that we've done in the last, like, 20 episodes that have had some type of uh, way to knock people off? Like, the, the whole fight at Cazador. I could just, like, popped a bunch of the dudes off with his Eldritch Blast. That's insane. Oh, man. Beautiful. Beautiful, Will. Beautiful. Survival is all that matters. All right, my guy. What am I going to do? I don't know. Whack this air elemental? I have to hold on to it. Let's whack it. Uh, executioner. Yeah, let's use it. I almost killed it with a torch. <laughs> that is so funny to me. Good job, my guy. Good job. <laughs> like that it used the level three smite on this air elemental. That was so overkill. <laughs> you know what? I take it back. I at first remember I was like, ah, probably a bad idea. So giving it to my paladin, you know, my main damage dealer. Turns out, no, it's perfect. <laughs> it's just perfect. Right, let's spirit guardians. Uh, let's go radiant. All right, she's probably gonna slip and fall. Oh, maybe not. That worked. Just do a bunch of easy damage, and of course, he heal everybody up. Not necessary. We're gonna do it anyways. Alright, uh, Karlik can now get in here. Uh, make it reckless. Just normal attacks. And frenzied strike. Okay, and then end. Beautiful. That one's gonna die. I don't need to react, it's fine. Oh, I figured he would die to that, but apparently not. Alright, that's fine. Uh, do I make it a crit? No. Feels, feels kind of useless to do that. No, don't. Worry. Okay, and then Will can Eldritch Blast this one to kill it. Um, can hit this one to kill it. And can hit this one <laughs> to knock it off. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, that one didn't get knocked back. This one's almost dead. That's fine. That was fun. <laughs> no choice but to keep going. Knockback seems kind of ridiculous. Yeah, miss, sucker. Putting on my paladin was definitely a bad idea. Yeah, go ahead. Put a AOE attack me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, go ahead and walk up here to do some free damage. Um, that water elemental has moved. That's fine. Can I can I move like right here? I'm gonna try to shove this one. Oh, can't be incorporeal. All right, that's fine. I was hoping. Uh, I mean, I could like Sacred Flame, Flame Strike. Do I want to do any of that? I think I'd rather save it for a potential dragon fight. So we're just gonna hit and be done. I'm having fun. This is a lot of fun. Oh, I'm silenced. You know, the good part about being silenced is I've already cast my Spear Guardian, so it doesn't get rid of it. Uh, don't react. You know, I'm kind of okay with them, like, focusing Will down. It's not, it's not like a bad thing. I'm just going to Eldritch Blast them all. I mean, he's currently silenced, but that might be because of the vortex that he's currently in. Now we got more of these nerds. All right, that's fine. Uh, how do we want to handle this? Okay, guys over there. I mean, if if Will can just knock those guys off, that's so overpowered. I'm just going to smack him until he dies. This turn. My, feet. All right, my dude will also come over here and try to finish it off. Let's make it crit, sure. Um, also puts him invisible, but he can't go invisible. It's very interesting. How do I want to handle this? I don't want to be silenced. 
but I don't really have need to find a way the movement to get anywhere else. Right? Oh, wait, maybe I can fly. Can I fly? Not enough resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could click heals. That at least gets me one extra attack. No. Okay. Um, enter. All right, now Will can get out from being silenced. And he could blast. And he can... Is that one going to blast? Not really, fortunately. That one's not either. That one may. It says it won't be knocked back, though. So maybe we just put... Put all three into that one. Just get him blasted, baby. Um, we can also go ahead and use this bonus action to mass heal. Which is not, you know... A huge heal, but it's better than nothing, right? Uh, I'm okay with her being silenced at the moment. I'm just going to move her over and attack this guy. Yeah, okay. Man, that aura is really annoying. Vortex. Coming over here. Sure, it's fine. We only have two turns remaining on this. It's fine. I think this would be way more deadly for different, um, for different parties. But our, I think our party is totally fine here. Yeah, go ahead. I knew you were going to do it. I plan for it. But I think I go one, two, one. Pretty nice. That guy's knocked down currently. But Will's fine. Uh, where's Shadowheart at? She's currently... Is she silenced? Yeah, Raging Vortex. Okay, so let's move her out of that. So that way she can... Um... But I don't want to use Preserve Life, do I? I'm just kind of out of range of that. I think I just heal. It's a level 4 heal on everybody. Okay, and then we can run over and attack this guy. She may kill that guy. Um, end her turn. It's done. Oh, I guess Carlax can kill it. Reckless. Oh, with the miss, too. All right. Carlax can use the rest of her turn. No, no, no. What are you doing, Carlax? No, I hate when it does that. Oh, it's so annoying. Time to push my luck again. All right, go attack this guy. Just attack him with that. All right, I'm going to come off over this way. Make him come to me, you know? Alright, he ain't got nothing left. The knockback has been so clutch. It has made it so that I'm I've just like taken out entire elementals that I would have to be dealing with otherwise. Like that one. Okay, we're done. Easy. Have I been in this way before? What did it say? Beacon of the meek, mighty alike. May you ever withstand the raging elements. Cool. Can I put my weapon back on? <laughs> that was a fun little encounter. I like that. The best part about Will is we didn't use any spell slots with him. And even if we did, he could just short rest and get him back. Warlocks are really good. Um, if you want a spellcaster, a warlock can... It's not as versatile, but man, they got a lot going on. That is for sure. Oh yeah, baby. Opened it up. Gained experience? Doesn't matter. No gain experience anymore. It's unfortunate. I kind of wish you did.